just too good here. Happy Throwback Thursday. For this week's retro review, we're taking a look at the Captain America Jet Pursuit from 2017. That's right. We're going back to my college freshman year. <laughs> Yeah, the spring semester. This has a total of three minifigures, 160 pieces, and it retails for $20 in the United States. Super Adaptoid is a character I really know not much about. The design here has a really interesting use of the Iron Man helmet that was introduced in the same wave, the 2017 wave. I think it works here. I like the printing at the front, but then again, I'm not super familiar with the character. I also love the torso print. Uh, kind of weak that there's no leg printing when the rest looks so great with the silver they use. He does have the power blast, which were used heavily in this wave, where you just push the side right here, and it goes flying. And I really like the use of this wing piece right here, which has been used for Falcon in the Marvel line before the original comic version, but now in a translucent red color, which looks great. Underneath, Super Adaptoid has no phase printing whatsoever. I'll also note that the Super Adaptoid figure has those translucent blue cylinder pieces at the bottom, but I can't find any at the moment. This wasn't in the bag of the set already built. Oops. This set had our first Miss Marvel who had these absolutely crazy flexible arms. This is something that was used only once again with Elastigirl from the Lego Incredibles 2 2018 sets. The design here is crazy in how those just have such a wide span and how they have a rubber like appearance. So if you push them up and down, the material actually like bounces up and down. It's really funny. I don't know. And these have a gauntlet like piece to illustrate fists. The design here a little bit weird since that's supposed to be like a human hand and it has the gauntlet circle designs at the top. You could easily remove those and just have her regular hand show underneath. And with her regular hand showing, she looks a lot less ridiculous, but still really funny with the rubber arms. Regardless, the face, torso, and legs are some fantastic printing from LEGO. I love how they capture that comic-like essence with those bright colors, something that the movie should do more of. The design here also has the Wonder Woman hair piece, which doesn't come in too many other sets, I'm starting to realize. At the back, you could see an alternate face with just removing the hair piece right here where she has a, I guess, less confident smirk. And then you also have some back torso printing. And while this set is just branded after Avengers, it seems like this is capturing an episode of Avengers Assemble, where Super Adaptoid takes Falcon's wings, as well as Miss Marvel's design following her design from the show. And this is one of the few sets with a comic book, Captain America. The design of this is the pilot outfit. I really like how they have the Captain America torso with a star in the middle in just this pilot jacket. That's pretty funny. I also like how he has uh, goggles for a variant on the face. You can see how he just has that uh, shield that was used for the 2014 comic Captain America with the lighter colors. And then at the back, you have some slight head printing there, which is nice that it continues to the back as well as another print, which looks a lot like the front of the jacket. So I really love the design of this jet, which is great for the price. It's very simple, but also very effective and versatile. The only downside is that there's quite a few stickers here that I wish were prints. You got those two by four tiles with stickers, the tail piece with stickers, the center pieces as well with stickers, as well as a sticker in the cockpit at the side of the cockpit, which says Captain Steve Rogers, and also at the front with the little Captain America logo right there. Regardless with the cockpit, as I said, we have one sticker at the front on that sloped piece, which doesn't hold back the set. And you do have enough space to have Captain America sitting down at the front where they do use one of those friends divider pieces so that he sticks in place. Just kind of have to have him laying back just a bit. But right behind him, there's also a clip piece, which you could use to have the shield held behind him, which is actually really nice. So you don't have to just remove that and put that to the side. So once again, putting Captain America inside. Look at that. And then you could close the cockpit and he fits in there pretty well. That's awesome. As for the wings, they do bring some play features where these are hinge connections and you could push the wings back, which is really nice. 
there's actually a little bit of a play feature here where if you push back this piece, the wings go forward. So that's pretty cool. And that's just a build with the tile popping out at the back and seeing how that pushes in, moves the wings. And also there's these Technic pins right here, which are actually disc launchers. So by pushing the Technic pin, it shoots out a disc. And that disc went so fast you weren't even able to see it, but that was a printed two by two tile of a little Captain America shield. <laughs> America. <laughs> and this goes the same way with this uh, wing right here, where if you push back or push forward, it just shoots out. And I think that just flew across my room. So that's great. <laughs> we'll have to find that. And then for this back section, I like the use of those wheels with those uh, ridges inside. That's very clever. Again, with the wings folded back, you can see how that middle section pushes back. And that's really it for the build of this set. Again, such a great jet build for that $20 price. You can see at the bottom how they smooth it out with some bumpers and everything. And I appreciate the very swooshable design. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. As for the box, it's the classic $20 Lego Marvel Super Heroes box size. I miss the Lego Marvel Super Heroes branding. I love the comic book artwork in the corner there and the Avengers logo, which seems close to, say, the Age of Ultron version, but this is a comic book set. And at the back, some interesting little comic panels here. Like, what the heck? Wrapping the arms around Super Adaptoid. <laughs> I can't even get that position done with the Lego minifigure, but okay. Unfortunately, while this set does include a comic book, I can't find it. Jessica Mom reviewed this on her channel a couple years ago, and I guess she lost a comic book, which is totally okay. But the only sad thing is that that had the advertisement for the other sets for this wave, which was what, like the Detroit Steel Attack set. Regardless, we do have this little comic section right here that says Power Blast. So overall, I didn't really pay too much attention to the build when this set first came out. I was just like, oh, wow, the Miss Marvel minifigure is crazy. But wow, not only does this have a great build that's very colorful and something that's missing from these new Lego Marvel sets, which is just some nice comic book vehicle sets. I'm not saying all the comic book vehicles have been great where we had that Hydra tank that was friggin' awful back in 2014, but this is a really good $20 one. Not only that, but the minifigures of this set, all three being exclusive with some crazy new concepts like Miss Marvel's concept with those uh, arms there. Also introducing that newer Iron Man helmet in a cheaper way. Other set being the Detroit Steels from this wave was just really, really nice. And also a variant on a very classic character where, yeah, they did that with Mickey as well with a pilot Mickey. Now there's pilot Captain America. Well, technically this one came first. So if all things considered, I'd rate this set an 8 out of 10 on the retro review meter. Very good set from 2017. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you had this set growing up. Subscribe here for more retro LEGO reviews, and I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.